big sound in a small town Far away from the big city lights Making music every night Good music with all our friends Tell everybody, tell your mama and them We're going out and we're getting down A big sound in a small town 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 Welcome to season four of Big Sound Small Town. I'm your host, Sandy Carlton. Join me as musicians tell their stories about how they became musicians and the stories along the way. Lord, I love 
you long hair flowing down I don't mind if some of the guys been out there spinning you around Baby dance, baby dance, hey baby dance, baby It's a part of who you are, your blood and your bones, I can feel it in your soul, Lord. I ain't ever wanted just a piece of you, I've loved you for a whole. I real go blind and it changed my mind, and you know I don't got to. I'm a song and dance man, I understand, baby, dance is just what you do. Mm, love to see you on the dance floor with your long hair flowing down. Mm, I don't mind if some of the guys are out there spinning you around. Baby dance, mm, baby dance, hey, baby dance, baby. Good. Thank you know, you. you know, I've listened. I've, I've listened. I've seen you on shows. I've been on festivals that you've been on. But sitting across from you and having you do it, damn man. I mean, <laughs> I mean, that voice is killing. Thank you. Man. I mean, the guitar playing is excellent, but you know that. But that voice, you Thank know, you, you do that effortlessly too, don't you? Uh, well, I mean, I mean, it's not a stretch for you. Any, you know. I will say that over the years, as I've gotten older. Uh, my voice has got better. Like I can sing higher and lower. Yeah. I mean, range as I've got older, which I feel real blessed for, considering you know I'm somebody like I, I chain smoked cigarettes for yeah. years. I ain't smoked. Well, I smoked tobacco every once in a while. Yeah. Uh, but you know I used to drink real heavy and uh, you yeah. know sing all night. But yeah. but I, I you know I've uh, I learned a long time ago about like singing and playing guitar from my diaphragm. Not right. just singing, but playing the guitar from my diaphragm. You got it down these days. Was, that was another thing I was I was going to bring up to you is I think that was off your voice just then was as good as I've ever heard it. Well, you, you know, what I mean, I thought that, that was I thought it was good and strong and 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 working. You know, I, I think the main thing about it is is I just got more relaxed about about singing as I as as, as time goes on and just you know. Um, I guess some people might call it. Uh, do you um, do you have a good holiday? Yeah, it was uh, it was cool. Uh, we, uh, I didn't get to go see my folks this year because my my pops was sick. Uh -huh. Yeah, like a flu bug. So yeah. we uh, they they decided we'd be good to have nobody over. Yeah. Uh, but I had a good holiday. Got to see all the kids and then. Uh, Get to go out of town a little bit for New Year's. So. Oh yeah, that's always good. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and just been just been living the dream. I hear you, man. That's the way it's supposed to be. Did um, I, you probably had shows during New Year's or something, didn't you? I didn't. I didn't have any shows. Uh, I had. A, I did. A, I did a private party, a Christmas party. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Thursday, I believe it was. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess not before Christmas Eve. Yeah. But uh, that was awesome. I was getting a nice party. It was nice. That's very good. Nice, very intimate. Very, uh, very much appreciated. I felt very appreciated. It was awesome. I hear you. Um, yeah, we might be a little loud on the radio. I just turned it down. Oh, okay, that's cool. We're, we're cool. I like it in the background, though. It is pretty cool. Um, yeah. Um, so uh, I might as well tell everybody on tape that the disc kind of screwed up on our first interview, which was really a good interview. But I did uh, I did capture all the music that it didn't foul before then. So I, well, that's cool. I appreciate you giving me another chance to do this. Oh, I, I appreciate you uh, to do it in the first place, and, and then being like, well, let's do it over. You know. Yeah. Like, Feels good to know uh, you wanted to do it again. You know, oh so. man, I, I enjoyed it. It was uh, 
uh, you I know, did too. It was, it was a good interview. It was exactly. a good interview. It was a good place to do it. I, um, you know, I felt good about the whole deal, and I, I thought we uh, kind of had a, a bond or created a friendship when we did it. You know, it was pretty Definitely. cool. Well, we, yeah, we certainly did. Uh, we already had a rapport. I think. Uh, yeah, we did. Yeah. I think you might. Can you hear me a little bit better now? I can. Okay, good. I, I just turned the microphone on the on the phone. Well, you know where you talk. Yeah. Uh, uh, I turned the phone upside down, basically. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. It's um. um so you, you got shows lined up for the um coming year? Uh, I do. I'm working on it still, and uh, got some exciting things coming up in the works. Uh, I hear you. you know, wait, waiting to hear back from some people too. That's that's always the name of the game. Just the waiting game. You know sure. what I mean? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. It's um. You know. I, I don't think uh, uh, my listeners know uh, exactly where you got your start in the music business at. Well, um, I guess that's hard to say. I, I don't know. My my dad was a is a musician, um, and, but he's in the bluegrass field, and all my older brothers played and played in his band to some degree. And, right. Uh, he was uh, pretty successful in his field. Uh, you know, put out three records on uh, Rebel. Yeah. Um, he uh, toured all up and down the East Coast, played at the White House. He's on television several times. He had his own radio show for a while. That's really cool. Uh, yeah. And so it is really cool. Pops, Elwood and the Smoky Ridge Boys, that was the name of his band. Ah, okay. Banjo player, songwriter, tenor singer. And like his songwriting, um, you know, he was well known for being a great songwriter. Back in the day, in the early 70s, he'd write songs that was considered contemporary. Oh. Bluegrass. But that was what they were looking for. Sure. And uh, but now those songs are considered classic bluegrass songs. He's always been into the hard driving kind of thing. But um, And then, you know, I've got my my granddad on my mom's side, my granddad, both my uncles, um, play guitar and sing and on my dad's side i know that my great grandmother played the banjo and the harmonica and uh, a couple other people and those musicians in my family but i um, grew up around it going to gigs with them all the time and, uh, you know just seeing on, on maybe a smaller scale how that how that shit works right but, well you know uh, i, I you could know. tell it's in your blood I, I mean it's one of those things that's pretty pretty evident i mean you can tell that it's one of those things you've been around all your life. I feel I feel most comfortable, uh, obviously, most comfortable with the with the guitar sure. in my hand. But I, I feel more at home, safe on a on a stage or a performance area than I do anywhere else. I, I understand that. I, I also um, one of the things I think we share in common too is. I, I hate to say this, but I, usually I'm more comfortable with musicians than I, I am with other people too. Mm -hmm. I um, there's something about musicians like I think um, there's there, to me I, and I do get disappointed sometimes I meet musicians and, and I think there's a part of me that just has this idea in the back of my head well, oh they're a musician they must be like really awesome right you know? yeah <laughs> they're a cool person you know? yeah yeah Ain't no shit on you. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. oh, 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 you, you're right. I mean, and that's, <laughs> you know, you know what I mean, I, I do. I mean, that's one of the things, too, that that uh, sometimes you, you, you have to be sometimes I don't know that I want to meet people that, that I thought was really great because yeah, a lot of times they disappoint you, <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah, I, I, I try to, um, you know, like I, I feel like I can be at home around around anybody, you know, uh, yeah. Which is, I, I think, is you know, a good trait to have. Um, yeah, it is. Um, I, um, you know, I, I mostly feel like a stranger in a strange land, about just about everywhere I go. I, I guess I always have it since I was a little kid. You know, yeah. like, uh, uh, so, uh, which I, you know, ain't nothing to say. Like, like, uh, it's not a comparison. To you. Thing or any type of life it's just you know yeah and maybe i guess most people try to figure out like where they fit in yeah uh, but i don't know if that's it because like i've always known ever since i was a little kid like where i fit in 
Yeah. You know what I mean? And that was like, and that's where I was going to get in. And, and, and that's, uh, that's in music and playing music, you know, and, um, I mean, it's, it's no stretch at all to say that every, all of the good things in my life have, have all, uh, came through the vehicle of me being a musician, you yeah. know, and the things I've done, places I've went, people I've seen, and it's brought me into contact with, and, and the places and times that it brought me into contact with people. I mean, I, I, I guess from an early age, you pretty well knew you were going to be a musician, didn't you? I, you know, I mean, I just wanted to play. Right. And I, I guess that's what, you know, and that's all I wanted to do. I just want to know everything about music, and I love music, period. Right. I just wanted to make, make noise musically. Sure. That's all, that's all I've ever really been concerned with. Even when I was a little kid, I used to, when I was like five or six, I used to, my mom would let me use her record player. And because she knew I wasn't scratching over records. Right. You know, I knew I, I was real careful with it because it was important to me. It was like a magical ceremony. Yeah, yeah. And if you look at magic, you know, it, it, it you got an altar and you got these things on there that have certain meanings and you have a wand, which is kind of like the arm of the the record, you know, people sure. gather around the record player and pass the pass the record jacket around and look at it like it's, you know, a, a lost holy relic and pass the joints around, whatever. Very communal thing music you know? i like so, that I, li- I like that analogy that's pretty cool i like that it's it's um i mean it's it's pretty amazing. but so you know i started that was like that's what i like to do i like to do that i like to write stories and like i used to make uh fake radio shows uh, that's cool tape recorder and stuff like that uh you know i just i don't know it just uh Did, i guess it's, it's like john lee hooker said it's in it's got to come up uh, uh, Yep, I, I don't really know when it grabbed me, but whenever it did, it sure took a hold, and, and it ain't never let go, you know. Did you, did you, when did you know you had the voice that you have? I mean, was that always there for you to know? Well, I mean, when I first got confident enough to sing out in front of people, it was when I was a teenager, you know, yeah. I sang all the time. I just, I just didn't do it in front of people. Right. I just in my house. Right. I practiced it, something I practiced on, you know. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, I don't know. I just, I don't know. If I, I don't. It's hard for me to think of my voice in terms like that. I, I just know that people started being like, "Wow, you sing really good," or you know, right. like the response that I was good. Yeah, it wasn't ever a thing that like I was like, "Oh wow." I mean, now as a, as a, as a. Uh, a, a pretend grown-up man. Um, I, I can look back over years of, uh, you know, and see, and 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 still be continuing to work on it. And and I feel blessed, and I'm going to say thank you and give gratitude to the universe right now because as I've gotten older, knock on wood, uh, my voice has actually gotten better and stronger. I believe it has. Years. I I, I think and, that too. I mean, I can tell it from from seeing you early on and and seeing you. You know, three feet across the the room. It me. could it could be because I didn't really start singing out really until I was like in my early the early twenties. Oh, okay. So it wasn't something that you know. I mean, when I first got when I first started playing in bands, I was never the singer. Okay, you were. I was trying to put together bands. I was never the singer. I was always just the guitar player. I never ever ever dreamed that I would front a band where that would be like the main way that like I go out here and, and do do my thing right it's not what i wanted to do i never wanted to be i mean Jimi hendrix likes my idol right you know what i mean yeah i do but like it's the Jimi hendrix experience yeah it, even in the title he tells you exactly what he thinks about what he's doing true you, you true know? so or even when he's just saying band of gypsies yeah whether it's Jimi hendrix or whether it's such and such and or blah 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 it, you you wanted to say something about the music that you're playing so you know what i mean that so I never really looked at him as like a front man. Like Dwayne Allman's another big hero. Dickie Betts, sure. great, great on None of them cats is like your front man, front man. Not no. like, you know, like Robert Plant. No, like never no. Like right. That. Or, yeah, or yeah. Uh, uh, you know, like. Not the, like a Stephen. being one of my favorite bands of all time. Like, and as much respect as I have for, for Mick Jagger and what he could do, like, you know. Right. Just give me peace. Oh, Keith. Oh, yeah. So, oh, and, and you know, Keith is one of those guys that, oh, everybody can find somebody they think play hotter, but the man has those signature licks. 
I mean, I mean, yeah, he knows he, he knows how to pick them, uh, them ideas and them sounds out of the air. He does because that's you know, I mean, that's really the deal. I mean, who cares how yeah. great you sing or how great you can play if you can't come up with nothing? Right, right. You know, <laughs> yeah, Shotgun Willie song by Willie Nelson. Oh, says, uh, you can't make a record if you ain't got nothing to play. Yep. Can't play nothing if you ain't got something to say or something like that. But you, you get the gist. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, it, I like it when people are about the music and and the other stuff just happens. You know, just like you said, you wasn't really sitting out to be a singer, but at some point, singing needed to be done. You know. Well, you know, a thing I love to do and I live for, and I try to do every show this way, and a lot of people hate me for it or are mad at me. You know, I'm only halfway teasing, but and it don't always work out. It ain't always pretty, and you got to not worry about if you look like an idiot or not or somebody thinks you suck. Right. But, you, you know, I don't make no plan for what I'm going to do. Yeah. I, uh, I think the whole idea of going out there doing the same thing in the same way night after night and having an act. You know what I mean? I mean, having an act ain't a bad thing. You know, having a gimmick or stick, we all do, no matter who it is. Right. Uh, but I just mean that, like, you know, to, to musically to go out and, and just have it all worked out, all mapped out, do it over and over the same way every night. So you can do it in sleep. Right. You got to think about it. I mean, I guess that's good for certain shows. And uh, I've been to certain bands where we worked out certain shows like that. Right. Like for certain specific, like we got a 45 minute opener at this festival on this tour, or we're doing a showcase. Right. We're near the little fucking hot 45 minute set, so we're going to practice this 45 minute set. We're going to play every time we play this set. We're, we're going to play, play this, it this exactly way. Exactly the same way, right? Right, yeah. You know, but I mean, if that's, if, that's your, if that's your thing, I mean, more power to you, but if that's what you want to do with a gig, I'd just sit and stay with fucking. Well, you know, and that's, that's one of the beautiful things is. Is when you can go out and let the music kind of kind of dictate to you where it's going. You know, yeah. I mean, you're not. It's it's almost mystical. Uh, you know, and, and it's and it's kind of the whole reason that you practice and learn to play is is so you can give yourself to the music. Yeah, and I think that less and less in our world people understand that feel that because I personally think that with all the fucking shit going down and the economic shit and then just being a human being yeah. a lot of, you know, mess that every human being is uh, you know, that there's a shroud and a beauty in this world a beautiful thing that people don't know it people don't know that they're falling asleep to that shit oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. people don't know that they're falling asleep to it and they don't realize that like when they people talk like this and they think you guys are fucking crazy but like no, we need to wait yeah. but uh I mean, music is not a thing of this world. Now, maybe it's it's that presentation is a thing of the world, right? Right. But music is not of the world. No, it's not. It's the only way that you can truly be in the world and not be of the world. Right. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, that, that is really cool. And there really ain't no other way. I mean, music is... What is music except your mind and your heart being one thing, being joined? The Buddhists consider the mind and the heart right. interchangeable. And even uh, uh, Jesus in the Bible talks about, you know, manifesting things. Yeah. You know, but they, but they leave a bunch of it out, you know. And it goes back to the ancient, uh, you know, ancient Ken ancient Egyptians. Right. Back to Africa, you know. That's where all these ideas and everything, all of it started. It's the it's the root. It's the beginning. It's the it's the answer to it all lies over there. So, you know, this idea of uh, 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 well, I forgot where I was going with that, but I think <laughs> I'm still going in a good direction. But yeah, I forgot right. where I was going to say. Well, um, you think it's about all about vibration? Well, yeah, everything is. Everything. There's no such thing as as persons or uh, you know, like so. I believe in personalism, and I'm a personalist, and I believe in vitalism, I'm a vitalist. I don't think those those uh, ideas uh, uh, are are different than, you know, any of the other things that I believe in. In other words, like personalism, I, I believe that everything has a certain type of energy. Trees oh, yeah. have a certain type of energy. Uh, you know, people have a certain type. And so there's, you know, all these different energies. Right. And now their, their uh, construction is at one level. 
of 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 consciousness and awareness. Now the the place where all this is born and there it, it well the place where none of this is ever born and never dies is on on the on the different kind of level of consciousness. Um, and so um, you know all that's vibratory. Like you you experience these different levels of things and attract different things. You you repel different things by vibration and and it's it it's science. Yeah, it is it's science. Old science. It's magic. Uh, you know the definition of magic is is not you know a trick. Right. Uh, the definition of magic is to take two things that exist naturally in the world and produce something out of those two things that didn't exist before. Yeah. That's great. So, I mean, you know, uh, turning on your washing machine is magic. If yeah. That's the case. yeah, really. I mean, I, it, well, I, I mean, mean, it really I, is. I, I don't, I don't say that lightly. I, you know, like uh, <clears throat> that's another thing. You know, everyday magic that that exists in the world. You know, people don't like that word. Yeah, and a lot of people. There's a lot. You know, everybody's got words in it, like, uh, but like a lot of people don't like that word magic. Yeah, magic uh, scares people. And, and, you know, brings all kinds of stuff out of, out of it, people. You know, like scares people. Yeah. Talk to people. You know, you're an idiot, you ain't learned or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, because those type of people, they, they look on the outside. They don't dig deep enough to see what's on the inside. No, in fact, they probably miss most of life, to tell you the truth. Yeah. But, um, uh, you know, that's a long time ago what the ancient folks called science at a point in time in our, uh, in our world here, we, we call it uh, mysticism true this is true you know what i mean and now quantum science is bringing that all back around full circle being like no nah, these things you said was was uh was just stupid magic like that's actually how the universe really works these, these folks if we uh if, if we were to ever to own up how uh, that we are not of the level of intelligence that we'd all like to tell ourselves <laughs> in the world and the culture right. like that's the last thing anybody's ever gonna gonna do you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. That, that's um. Well, how about how about songs? How do songs come to you? Um. Well, I mean, there's there's been the songs that came. You know, just like like the you know, you're just working at them. And you know what I mean? Sitting yeah. down to know going back. Yeah, up, yeah. Going back, like, come that way. Um. Sometimes. Working on a song, a lot of times will inspire a completely different song. You know what I mean? I do. You tr you gotta, gotta get something started. And I've been uh, I've been in the practice trying to get back in the practice, going back to to those things that I started as a jumping point. And yeah. Like, well, if it's good enough idea to produce that song right there. Mm -hmm. you know, but then some songs like have this literally like like automatic writing type of thing. They do. They do. Yeah. I mean, like. Like it's kind of spooky, really, when I think about it. In, in a way, it's like. But there's been many times in my life where, uh, like Woody was aware, the consciousness of Woody was aware of what was going on, but it wasn't Woody that was guiding what was happening. Right, exactly. Sometimes that's been really bad and, and like not a good thing. You right. Know? But for the most part, it's a good thing uh, because I think that you know it's like. Uh, Ain't nothing solid, but but yet they ain't nothing separated either. Yeah. <laughs> you know what uh, I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 I mean, that's pretty. So that's pretty just, cool. Just, you know, energy, just energy, just frequency. You know, and that's that's what all these ancient things teach. You know, that that's what it is about like astrology and the planets. That's what makes astrology work. It's energy fields and frequencies. True. I mean, true. It, it is. I mean, that's a proven proven point. You know. <laughs> Uh, yeah. ener energy energy flow is is huge. It, it, you know, it's about challenge, challenge, putting in a channel that'll come to you, or 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 if you're receptive to it. Yeah, yeah thank you. In a way, you know, we're just all radios. That's all. That's all. <laughs> it is. That's all receivers and transceivers, and really, that's it. Is. And that's the thing about you know, like what I was saying about Keith Richards and people like that, or like you know, Donnie Hathaway. Yeah. You know, all these folks like that they're, they're tied into something. They're opened up to something. They're yeah. Like their antennas. Uh, you know what I mean? I, 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 um, yeah, I think it works. Yeah. And Gabriel and all these people. 
you know, all the way back to all the way back to Africa. You hear the song in the background, the major song. Sure, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, that's interesting. That song came up like before I started talking about that. <laughs> that is, that is. No, I mean, I started talking about that before that song started playing. Tr- true, and that is pretty. And this is funny too. One of the things I was going to actually talk to you about is. Um, uh, I don't know if we need to do this on the interview, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, what do you feel about coming and us doing a Mardi Gras show? Well, would it be on Mardi Gras? Or? Oh, yeah, on Fat Tuesday. Well, I may be in Norway on Mardi Gras. Okay. So, but it's not, I love to. I, I love doing a Mardi Gras show. I mean, you know, it could be... Um, you know, make, make up on the spot kind of thing. Yeah, that's, that's right. The way we do it. Yeah. Well, which just brings me back to that point I was making about, like, you just go on the stage and you just, you don't. Yeah. You don't, sometimes you don't write a set list. Sometimes you don't tell nobody what songs you're going to play. Sometimes you just turn around and you just tell the band. That's what we're gonna do, and then you just lead the fucking band. Right? Yeah. Oh, yes, great. I love to do that. I mean, that. You know, that's my favorite, man. I mean, and I'm ready for that type of shit. I mean, that's what. First time I ever played was uh, Walter Wolfman Washington. Yeah. New Orleans, right? Yeah. And uh, I knew Walter. You know, I was getting to know him better. Anyways, he had a guitar player in the band, and I didn't. I didn't have nothing but my guitar. It's like a maple leaf. Yeah, I know so the I, maple yeah. leaf. Yeah. Or was it a Monday or Tuesday? I can't. No, 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 no. It was a Monday night because we had the residency on Sundays at the time. We were doing it every Sunday before at least okay. the party. The 101 Runners was a band I was playing. Big Chief Pepe and the 101 Runners. Okay, that's cool. And uh, Big Chief Pepe uh, uh, is uh, uh, Mahalia Jackson's first cousin. Oh. oh. Yeah, Mahalia Jackson's one of my favorite singers. Oh, she can sing. Time. Yeah, she can sing. Uh, I mean, you know, there's, you know, there's something to, to her feeling. You know what I mean? Yeah. I ain't to that. You know, maybe the words in the song don't really do it justice, but right. they, you know, you can't deny her voice. Well, I, I, you know, and I don't think it would really matter the words that she was singing. It's just that voice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Mahalia Jackson could sing the song. Too. Yeah, she could. She, I'd, I'd like it. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I mean, you just go out there and you just do it, and if and if you and if, you, if the song falls apart and you make a mistake and you miss a chord, you miss a chord. Like it moves so fast and. Yeah, you know, it's like out there in the ether. It's gone. That's the difference between recorded music. A difference between recorded music and live music is when you record something, it's there forever. True. And when, when, and you think of it differently, you remember it differently, completely different. Right. Different. Answer. When you hear live music, you're playing live music. Like once it's done, it's done. It's gone. You can't right. Call it back. Can't call it's it fine. back. Yeah. You you know, and so you know you can't call a recorded show a live show. You know. People no, like, oh, you can't. Mm. It's not live no more. Right. You can record it. You can fast forward it. You can analyze it. You can chop it up. You can call it a name. You can't do that. Right. When you play live music, it's gone. It's done. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I've just got through doing a series of, of those with uh, Brian McMurray where we um, had no idea what we were going to do, no set list, no idea where we were going, but it was a lot of fun. I've been, um, I, I started wearing glasses. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I guess a month. I mean, I've always worn gla- always supposed to wear glasses. I, I didn't realize how blind I was until about a month ago. Oh, until you started wearing them. Driving around. Yeah. Uh, anyway, anyway, so I don't wear sunglasses anymore. And I'm enjoying being able to see, even though I'm old enough now, I got bifocals. Yeah. So, but I'm just, you know, I'm eating that shit up, man. I'm just like, yeah, bifocals. Yeah, man, yeah. that's right. That's like that shit comes with, uh, you know what else comes with bifocals? What's that? Uh, uh, bruises and scars, yeah. and war battles, and all that kind of shit. Yeah, they do. You know I mean? Yeah. So I'm I'm all good with it. But anyways, uh, you know, I stopped wearing sunglasses, and I think people just didn't realize that. Like, I close my eyes all the time. I play anyway. Yeah, I do too. Uh, I don't look at nobody when I play. And every once in a while, I open my eyes and like look out to see. You know what I mean? But like, yeah. I connect with the audience in a, in, a, in, a, in a not in a visual way. Right. It's a very physical way, but there's nothing visual about the way that I connect with the people I'm playing music for. More, more uh, spir- spiritual way. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but, uh, so, you know, but I've been in the practice of really, you know, continuing to do that since I've not been wearing sunglasses because, you know, I zone in to certain things. 
in yeah. my mind. Like my eyes are closed. I, I feel like I can pinpoint. Like, okay, I want to listen to this guy now because he's taking the lead. So I'm gonna be able to hear his bass player trying to tell me there's a chord change coming right. up, or a, a field. Change. You know what I'm saying? Sure, like, yeah, I do. Yeah. So you need to be able to do that, and you got to be able to. You got to be able to pinpoint. It's like flashing a, a flashlight into a light, a room with the light that's already on. Yeah, yeah. But you, you can, you, can you dig it? It's like so. You know, like when you, when you, a flashlight only pinpoints things. Right. Right. Yeah. You walk into a dark room with a flashlight, you can't see nothing but what the flashlight. Is. Right. But if you go go in the room and and you turn the lights on, i.e., you're really connected with everybody in the band. True. You're really hearing them and seeing them. Then you can take your flashlight and shine it over on the drummer for a little bit. Right. You know, get him out for a second. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, and, yeah. And listen to what really, really, like you're all having a, a conversation at the same time, and then you, you go back and forth with, like, locking oh, in. Oh, yeah, I do. What they're saying without ever forgetting what everybody else is doing, too. Sure. Well, you know, it's one of those things. Not everybody can do that. You know, I know some really good musicians that really can't do that. I mean, if they don't know... You know, if they don't. It's something you have to learn. You have to work on. You know, you, you uh, a lot of people that ha- have natural talent and are born with it, like they can, they can make a lot of mistakes sometimes and feel like there's things that, like, you know, lots of things that they didn't have to work to that did come natural to them. Right. And, uh, you know, but the same is true for everybody. It doesn't matter what it is or how easy it may come to you or how hard it may come to you. Um, you know, the things that come easy to you, you may not do well. True. And they're not like, you know, they don't, whatever. But, but you know the point I'm trying to make, I think. Oh, that, yeah, I do. Uh, you know, it just takes a lot of work. And, it you know, takes a lot of work. It, it goes away. It'll oh. leave. Oh, it will. Yeah, it's a person. You know, like I said, it's more like the personalism, everything, and vitalism, everything is an energy and vital energy that keeps everything alive. Is an energy that, that, that same energy that you think is your individual soul. Is that same energy I think is my individual soul and right. you're in a different between the two. Yeah. But uh, uh, you, you know, so and music is a per- music is like that. Music yeah. has personality. Songs have personality. They do. <laughs> oh yeah, they do. They really do. If they if they didn't, they wouldn't do nothing to you. Well, it, yeah, I agree. I, it, and and you know, it it works in any genre of music. You know. Yeah. It's it's it's, it's cross musical culture. I mean, it doesn't really, yeah. You know, things get caught up in labels sometimes, and it's all just music. You know, I mean, it's one of the biggest problems. It's one of the biggest problems with uh, with uh, a, a, a life in general, yeah. but especially music. You know, concepts, yeah. conceptual things. Concepts are our friends because they allow us to make a bridge of connection and communication with other living beings right right yeah so you know like we have these concepts of we all agree what a table is so we can sit at it and put our cups on true yeah concepts of, of who, who other people are and there, there's enough characteristics that 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 are similar in everybody's mind that we can agree on like that's what that is that's what that is conceptually right exactly but yeah. the reality of it is that's not what it is <laughs> and so you know it's the same thing with music it's like it, it just it's just disrespectful to put somebody into a box it is and 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 to be like you are this person you are my this whatever right you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. And it's a lot. It's a lot to shoulder for a person to live inside of a box, yeah. whether 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 by force or because you, you didn't know better and right. jumped into it. Right. But you know, and also too, man, you know, you can't do but the one dance that somebody else is doing. <laughs> if somebody comes in with a step, you just got to follow right along behind. True. A lot of times you ain't got no choice for in the matter for a little bit. Yeah, sometimes but, you don't. Um, yeah. S- sometimes. But. but Oh, go ahead. No, I mean, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you do have to take those steps a little bit. Yeah, I mean, just kind of like, and until you figure out what's going, you know. What sure, until you learn to dance, kind of. Then, you, yeah, then, then yeah. you're ready to go. Yeah. yeah speaking but, uh, of that, uh, speaking of that, man, I just love that baby dance song of yours. That's just so oh, good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I wrote that for my wife. I, I kind of gathered that. I, I kind of yeah. gathered that, uh you like to watch her dance, and, and, and you let her dance, and that's cool, man. 
yeah, that's her thing, you know. But so you know, it's just like I message her, like I get it. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, I love that song. Uh, you know. In fact, one of my favorite lines in it is, you know, you're a dancer, but I'm a song and dance man too, so I understand it. You know? Yeah, that's one of the songs that just kind of came out. Uh, now, I have drank a lot of wine. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I have drank a great deal of wine. <laughs> and uh, I don't drink anymore. I, I've been sober for getting close to five years. Oh, that's great. That's, I'm, yeah, it's a long I'm time. Long time I've been sober in my life since I started drinking. That's great. That's a long time ago. Um, you know, I don't, I don't, it's not something like, I mean, man, I, you know, it's like, I don't mean telling myself, but uh, I was pretty bad off. Yeah. I could, you know, very high functioning alcoholic. Yeah. I mean, I, I know people like that. I know a lot of people like that. But uh, uh, I just, I don't, you know, my, my dad used to say when I was a kid, like, you know, it's like, people don't do nothing unless they have a change of heart and make up their mind they really want to do it. That's, That's the only time they'll do anything. And he was right about that. So, like, you know, I don't know when the thing in your life is going to happen that is, like, makes you go whatever about anything that, 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 that causes you to have a life-altering view right. something in your life, right? Yeah. So for me to sit here and tell you that you should have already done it or you should do it or you should be planning on it, that might, that, you know, what do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, yeah. if you're not, if you don't want to do it and you're not ready to do it, you're not going to change it. Yeah, so I, I think I was going somewhere with that. I can't think, but... Um, well, I mean, yeah, I I, I'm glad you give it up. You know, I mean, that's. Oh, we talking about drinking, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. but that's why I, that's why I did it. But, um, uh, you know, uh, I, uh, I I dropped a bunch of acid. Yeah, that's I've done that too. Like, I mean, it wasn't that I wasn't thinking about it, but right. like, you know, like it it enabled my brain, and it was kind of an accident how much acid I took. Right. <laughs> you know, that's a likely story. Well, well, I mean, I mean, well, it, accident. It, it is kind of one of those things was. it's hard to judge. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I, a, dude, a, a buddy was administering some liquid LSD to me that was as uh, old. It was some Owsley LSD that had right. actually been at the fucking Monterey. Oh, that's, and, it's um, actually, like, in theory, that's really cool, you know. You know, because you can, you can do that. You can take one of the little crystals of, sure. of LSD and continue to grow it, keep it alive. Right. You know I mean, and just all pieces from it. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. You know, I'm not a chemist or nothing like that. But but um, anyways, that, from what I understand, I know a few people that have done it before, but um, from what I understand, that's what you can do. And I was told that this LSD had been taken by Jerry and, right. and all. So whatever. It's a fun story, if it, even yeah. if it ain't true. It is a fun story. But anyways, it, he didn't mean to, but he, he dropped like five hits of acid. Well, regardless of where it's from or how old it was, man, it, it, it's too yeah. much. Yeah. Well, it wasn't too much, actually. It was actually just the right amount. But I had a talk with somebody that I've had a talk with before. But anyways, I just, you know, I'm not going to say that it was like all of a sudden, like I just never wanted to drink again. But it right. sure was easy. It sure was easy. And it's just one of the things that kind of fell away from me. And I don't say this is a matter of pride either, because, uh, you know, that's that thing that comes before a fall. Right. So... Uh, I say it as that you know, whoever's going to hear this, there's going to be somebody out there. Right. Oh, probably, yeah. Uh, uh, earlier today, at this moment, sometime later, uh, uh, hearing this, they're going to think the same thing that I thought, man. I just can't fucking do it. Yeah. But that's the only thing that's going to take this fucking bullshit away from me. And so, you know, maybe somebody out there where they hear this and they'll be like, hey, uh, it's not. That's not true. Because if, if I can, if I can overcome things, well, damn near anybody can. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I do. Uh, I, that that's the reason I say that. I know that you have a listenership of people out there. So. Oh yeah. You hear, so whoever hears this interview, you have that that feeling at some point. Just it's gonna pass, and somebody else is out there in the world that has it. 
He still has it, you know what I mean? So but the end the end is not near. Doesn't have to be. Doesn't have to be. I hear you. That's that's a great testament right there, brother. Yeah. Well, it's you know, this goes to fifty four nations in every state in the union, so I'm I'm sure there's plenty of people that are that are there or been there. Cool in the game, man. Yeah, it is, man, it is. Um uh what are we missing? What 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 have you not told me that we need to know? I don't know. Uh <laughs> uh, well, well, yeah. This is this is okay. This is what everybody tells me, and everybody, no one can figure this one out. So I'm going to ask you personally. Everybody wants to know why aren't you a star? <laughs> you know, I mean, well, you know, I mean, everybody I know, everybody well, I, I know, told you everybody's a star. Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah. I told you everybody's a star. Some true, people true, you did. in the dipper and pour back over the world. See, that's what the answer okay, is. Okay, that works. That's a and good then one. the world will see your good works and glorify compassion and love. I love that. <laughs> I love that. I mean, people say, man, man, I, 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 people tell me, man, Woody Wood, he... There's no reason that man is not the. He should be a household name, as much as like a Bruce Springsteen or, or, you know, and you know it's like, well, after having conversations with you, I think you're there for yourself, and that's all that really matters, you know. Yeah, I mean everything else got to come after that, come with it, you know. And I mean, you know, I just. I, you know, like that, that that whole idea of being a star or whatever, like, right. know, I mean, hey, man, if I didn't have to, like, sweat, like, every single day, like, am I going to be able to pay my bills? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Every fucking day. Yeah. You know what I mean? I do, uh, yeah. If I could just, like, go get my guitar fixed. Yeah. If I could have enough time where I wasn't in a state of anxiety and panic about the world and, and everything in my micro, my macro cosm of life. Right. You know, that'd be fucking awesome. Yeah. I could sit and have to be a Kansas fan. I could really sit and pour myself in some music and go, you know what I mean, go hang out with people. You right. know what I'm saying? It's like, but, uh, you know, it's capitalism. Yeah. Regardless, you know, man, I mean, it, regardless of what you think, we call it whatever we want to. We don't got to call it capitalism. But look around and look at yourself and, and tell me how many people out here are really free to do what it is that they want and are following their heart's desire and therefore their they're, they're fucking karma there. Uh, quote unquote God's purpose, you know, destiny. Sure. So, that we can all run out here and we can like uh, grab after some paper. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you, I mean, we got to get out there and we got to do it. So that's 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 the extent of me being like, oh man, I got to be successful. I gotta right. Be like, you know what I mean? And yeah. It's not a thought I think about a lot of times because I'm too busy. A, to think about all the shit I just told you. <laughs> yeah, to yeah. Think about. Yeah. And when I'm not thinking about that, which is I'm trying not to think about it constantly, like, you know, I've always got a guitar in my hand. I'm trying, you know, try to always and, and just, you know, just do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, just yeah. do it. And and it and it don't matter. Like, go to rehearsals, man. It don't matter that, that they ain't a crowd there. Like, you play the whole damn song. Yeah, exactly. play it like, you know, in case you get in a car wreck on the way home. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It you is. Know, life it, times are long, but them life times individually ain't very long. They're not very it's long. Blip, a, blip of an eye to a mountain. Yeah. The blip of an eye to the Sphinx and the pyramid. Sure, it is. I, I mean, I'm all for, you know, I, I, I try to take the little victories in life, the little, the little things, and enjoy them every day as opposed to having a really big picture or waiting for that one perfect, wonderful time that's going to come in my life. Yeah, it, man, it may not come, <laughs> you know. Well, so, it so, may not. So I'm working it today and enjoying today, you know, doing the best I can. You know, and, and that's all we can do, I guess. You know, there's yeah. nothing wrong with that. I, I and I think the more you realize there's nothing wrong with it, the even less wrong there is with it. You know, it's uh, one of those things that uh, you know you you live your life. <laughs> You know, to, you know, to do the stuff you have to do. I think, and and it'll it'll either happen or it won't. I mean, well, the good thing is, is that like people, even though every human being, like, but see, that's the thing. It don't matter. Like, 
what you do. I come from a tradition of people who like played music. Right. You know what I mean? I think my wife's family comes from a tradition of musicians and writers and stuff. You know right. What I mean? so, uh, but but we also come from a, a tradition of people who, who work. Yeah. Who work to uh, to make their living, to make sure. their own. You know what I mean? Yeah. They, they didn't have it easy. They 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 did it, and they they, they put their their hearts and minds, their fingers, uh, yeah. their feet, toes, and everything into it. Sure. And 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 keep the world running. And and the the thing that keeps life going and like the thing from falling apart is that you know every human being has that cosmic wound, that yeah. soft spot that you can touch. Oh, right? they do. Yeah. Some people yeah. have got to play the taco. Right. <laughs> but if you know that, and you come at them from that plate of tacos. Right. Well, it's like everybody, there's a chance for everybody. You know what I'm saying? I do, yeah. Basically, you know, it's that beautiful thing, that, that beautiful sorrow that we don't know that we have. It, it, it's, it's a thing that connects us all as human beings. You know what I mean? That's beautiful. That's beautiful. We, we, all, we, all, we all know at a subconscious level that we're all suffering and, and that we're all just like, God damn it, fuck, <laughs> shit, damn. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. We all know that at a subconscious level. There's just so much bullshit, so much dust on the mirror that we don't see it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, but it's still there. And at the end of the day, like, like some sometimes it, it shines out more uh, when there's a whole bunch of dust on it because it's yeah. happy. Like, like like a fire starting it, they, deep out in the woods because there's too many leaves on it. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, it's and it's easy, and sometimes that fire can spread like. Well, you know, s- spread like wildfire. I mean, it's uh, sometimes. Sometimes, uh, sometimes the fires right there is the, the the worst one. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you know, the hottest, the biggest burning fire. Sure. Yeah, yep, it is. Uh, you know, man, I tell you what, you're you're a real pleasure to talk with. Um, uh, well, so are you, Sam. You know, you yeah, I'm having a good time. You know, it's uh, it's uh, I I love your take on the world. It's uh, it's a beautiful take, and and. Uh, I think you have a better understanding than most people of of of, of how the world works and and. Um, well, uh, it, it you know if you if you act on these ideals and things, if you feel convicted and compelled in such a way that you cannot do otherwise, or if you find yourself doing otherwise, as we all do sometimes, like you, you know, you want to correct it. Right, yeah. You're, yeah, I that's do. What yeah. Discipline, is. discipline don't have nothing to do with something you and another person are doing with one another. Right. Uh, and as a parent, this is what I'm saying as a parent, like discipline ain't got nothing to do. Discipline is not a, a dual thing. Discipline's like between you and yourself. That's, that's true. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and, but, uh, you know, you just, you just want to pull yourself back and everything from it, but uh, uh, to where you were. Right. But, uh, uh, yeah, sometimes it's just just hard to look after yourself. Yeah, it is, but I, but it's you know it's like it, it ain't easy to to when you, it ain't easy to be out in the world no. and think like that and act like that. Like there's a lot of places in the world that just don't give you room, and so when you try to make that room, they don't see that you're just just you're just being as honest as you can be with them because you love them, right? You know. Oh yeah. Whatever. Like we're all like that. It goes back to that whole conceptual thinking, like we're always like we've got some idea up in front of us between us and everything else. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, we do. Yeah, you know, uh, that's what it's not, a, you know, it's like the wall or whatever, but it's an idea. Sure. And that's exactly what stands between us and any other anything. It's oh, yeah. the idea of it. Oh, yeah. Or that's what will bring you to it. It's what either stands in the way of it or brings you to it. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. I like talking music with you, but you know, talking, talking uh, the world with you is a lot of fun too. Is is as much fun as your music. So, uh, well, it's, Sandy, it's a real treat. I don't, thank you, man. Thank, it's a real treat talking to you. I, I really feel comfortable talking to you. I, I do feel like we we made a connection and have a rapport with each other. I I, I would just have to say in in closing, like in in regards to that, I, I appreciate that. I really do. Uh, but I I just always feel 
uh, and feels more like this day after day, I don't know shit. <laughs> and I know that I don't know that better than I don't know anything else that I know. Well, I think we share that because I'm I, I'm pretty well the same way with that. I'm, you know, I don't even know if I ever really in life know a damn thing I'm doing. You know, you know, I'm just kind of rolling yeah. through it. So I just hope that, like, if I ever, especially in music, like playing guitar, like if I ever feel like I got it all together, like, you know, I don't. That's yeah. a sure sign you don't it's when you think you do. Well, yeah, this is true. Now that's, that that is true. I I I, I agree with that one hundred percent. I, you, you know, know, the whole idea of mastery, like being a master, like <laughs> I don't think that has anything to do with perfection. Mastery can't have anything to do with perfection. Why would you want to master something that would eventually get fucking boring if there was just one way you did it over and over and over again? Oh, I, and I, that's what I, I wouldn't. I mean, if yeah, if that's yeah. master, you know, if that's mastering something, then I leave me out. You know, it's one of those things that um, uh, yeah, there's nowhere it's to go. It's not the Dow. You know what I mean? Like yeah, the, you know, just not the way. It's not just you know, as it is. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's right, and you know, I don't even know what the the enjoyment would be if you could master it like that. You know? Yes, I do. I I feel like uh, you know, I'm I'm blessed in that life is a is an ever evolving like oh it you know this 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 has the possibility of getting even deeper and more involved. Every little thing in life can be that way. That's it that, can. That, that's that little everyday magic. Right. They call it, it Rala yeah. in Tibet. Yeah. But, uh, you know, like, it, and everything can be that way. That's actually the, the whole idea uh, of, in some cultures, that they have well like over in Tibet and uh, in India, uh, uh, a, a type of a, a, a type of tantric view of the world, Vajra, Vajrayana. Yeah. It's another vehicle of Buddhism, but it's basically, you know, there's these different um, uh, ideas that, you know, everything in, in front of you, I'm not going to explain this right, there's going to be a whole bunch of people out here and be like, you don't know what you're talking about, uh, which is exactly why I try not to talk about this stuff, because um, I wouldn't want to be a bad representation of anything. Right. But basically that, 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 you know, all these atoms in front of us and in the world and everything are, are, are alive and, and all these possibilities exist in the moment and uh, are all connected to one another and uh, once again, I, I forgot where I was going with that. Well, I'm not much help either because I'm bad to, you know, I, I'm right. bad to get and off the track too. So I, I, uh, it's 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 been kind of a long day for yep. me. So I, uh, uh, I appreciate you I, taking I, time out of this long day to talk you with know me. What? This, this is a probably I couldn't think of a better way to to put a cap on the day and, and to make the evening real positive so oh, I that's great man I, I i appreciate it too um uh you're you're a very busy man you got a very busy life and i, I appreciate you taking time to do this well thank you i i know, I know you do too and uh, uh i can't wait to play some music i'm looking forward to it just you know whenever we can work it out so. Well, man, just, just yeah. Let me know. Just stay in touch with me because okay. it's just a hop, skip, and a jump down the mountain. Sure, sure. I I will. Um.
tears that you want to share But don't let the moon find you swimming all alone in your bed If this time cuts you real bad, think of me forever, drop your bleed Well, I hope your ears will burn with the sounds of my song till the sun catches you asleep It's been a long time since we've talked But there'll never come a time that I can't remember The many miles that we walked It's been a long time since we laughed together And it's been a long time since we've sang But there'll never come a time when I can't remember The many times I've spoke your name Now don't you get too caught Yeah.